Today we are covering the XP54, and I'm just gonna start off right off the bat saying this is probably the number one gun to use for the light, both for experts and beginners, just because both the recoil pattern and the damage profile, and it offers a red dot. I mean, there's not too many guns in the, in the finals that have red dots, which is pretty nice. Now, it does actually have a damage drop off, and that starts about the 15 meter mark. So if you stay within that range, you're probably you're gonna get the most out of the XP-54. Now, if you're just landing body shots, this gun is going to feel underpowered, but if you can mix in some headshots in there, you are going to be wiping the floor. And I think that's why this is currently the number one used gun. Diving back into the recoil pattern, you can see it climbs very quickly and then tapers off to the top right. The hip fire recoil pattern does the exact same thing. It'll climb and then taper off to the right. Looking over the damage profile, it's a it's all around a really good gun and I think that's why it continues to sit in the number one spot as long as you can mix in some headshots. Now the headshot multiplier doesn't quite add up. I don't know if it gets applied every other time. I don't know if the documentation covers that at all, but you know, now diving into some of my gameplay, you can see that, you know, if I mix in some headshots in there, you know, I'm, I am wiping the floor with this gun. And I think another reason it sits in this number one spot that it complements all the lights abilities, which is really, really nice. And you can't say that with all the guns. There are a couple that, that also follow suit with this, but you know, I think that's why this one sits in number one. And I think generally a lot of people also gravitate towards not using iron sights. So I'm looking forward to see if they're gonna implement maybe just a small attachment screen at some point, maybe something like Rainbow Six Siege. That's kind of, that, that would be pretty sweet. I don't want anything like Call of Duty. Just give me the, you know, the option to possibly add a red dot or an ACOG to my gun. This is a number one gun for the light. If you guys have another opinion on that, you know, let me know in the comments, but I think this is the number one gun to use right now for the light. Just from the usability standpoint, I think other guns are still great. They still do a really good job, but you know, let me know down in the comments and I plan on seeing you guys out in the finals. Monsters, thanks for tuning in. And that's a wrap.